So the Biden administration saying that they maybe don't have the ability to get an assault weapon ban pushed through. So what is their target? Apparently, nine millimeter. And they showed me a, 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 a X-ray. He said a 22 caliber bullet will lodge in the lung, and we can probably get it out. We may be able to get it and save the life. A nine millimeter bullet blows the lung out of the body. So the idea of these high caliber weapons is that there is simply no rational basis for it in terms of what we see about self-protection, hunting. I mean, I just I remember the Constitution, the Second Amendment, was never absolute. Now, if you've been following any of the news, there's been a lot of stuff said about the Democrats' plan moving forward, as well as potential bending of the knee by Republicans when it comes to gun control. We're going to be talking about some of the claims that the president has made, and maybe that tips the hat as far as what direction they're planning on heading as far as the future for gun control and what that looks like for the Democratic Party and their official stance. Whether or not they get the big dreams and their big hopes of taking away every single person's guns, unlikely. But let's talk about what they might actually do. Now, before we get going, though, I do want to say thank you to one of the sponsors of today's video, Route 66 Shooting Sport Park. If you are in the San Bernardino County area and looking to get training, looking just to have a good place to shoot, Route 66 is where I recommend you check out. They're awesome people. I love the families that run the business. They have excellent trainers there, and they also host guest instructors. If you're in the area and you haven't been to Route 66, check them out. Now, one of the big things that we saw recently Biden say is that he believes that there is no impact of an assault weapon ban on the Second Amendment. Now, we all know that the Second Amendment, or maybe if you don't, this might be news to you, the Second Amendment does not grant you any right. It is writing on a piece of paper that acknowledges your right to have the means to protect yourself both from personal threats and from a government who might wish to I don't know, use nukes against you, um, use F-15s against you, that sort of thing, like some senators and current president have said in the past. Yeah, so the Second Amendment doesn't actually grant you a right, it just acknowledges your right. So when people say stop saying assault weapons, you're already admitting failure when you use that type of argument. Stop saying that the guns that we own aren't capable of being used to defend ourselves. We own guns and have the right to own arms of all types that should be able to be used to protect ourselves from any sort of individual or government-based threat. Stop freaking out over the word assault weapon and saying these aren't assault weapons. These are guns that are capable of being used for serious use. So the president believes that an assault weapon ban wouldn't have any sort of negative impact. Now, when you kind of think about, okay, well, what is their goal? Clearly they have admitted or they are admitting multiple times that they don't think that they will actually be able to get an assault weapon ban passed, even though they say that the 1994 to 2004 ban was successful. We know for a fact by looking at the stats that it wasn't the National Department of Justice did a review of it after a few years, and they noted that there was no increase or decrease in violent crime trends, and things basically stayed the same throughout the ban, and then continued in the same exact trends, exactly how they were trending before, during, and after. So we know that assault weapon bans don't work. We've tried them before. They didn't work. Now, we've seen him multiple times, and just recently, he also brought out the famous line of, deer aren't wearing Kevlar vests. You're right, they aren't wearing Kevlar vests. And I don't know if he knows this, but the Second Amendment isn't about hunting, first of all, and Kevlar only stops handgun rounds, which brings us to the next point. Biden recently said that he does not believe you should be able to own a 9mm. Yes. The thing that the Heller decision, I believe, coined as the quintessential defense tool, the handgun, chambered in the very, very deadly round 9mm, and that he recommended, based on an expert, he said that experts believe that a 22, something like a 22, you get shot in the lung with a 22, and they can usually get it out, but a 9mm just blows it out the back end. When do we think Biden is going to say that if you shoot someone with a 22, it bounces around on the inside of you, like all the experts love to say? I'm putting that in quotes, experts. If you still believe that a 22 will bounce around inside your skull, turning it to mush, please stop talking. Please start listening. So the Biden administration saying that they maybe don't have the ability to get an assault weapon ban pushed through. So what is their target? Apparently... Nine millimeter, 
the most common handgun round in existence, is far too much. And we know that there is their goal to currently, or at some point, take away handguns. Many of the gun control groups at one point were called handgun safety or shit like that, where they wanted to actually ban handguns. And then now currently people are saying, oh, look at Canada. Canada is now the model citizen. And so today we're moving forward. We're introducing legislation to implement a national freeze on handgun ownership. What this means is that it will no longer be possible to buy, sell, transfer, or import handguns anywhere in Canada. In other words, we're capping the market for handguns. Do you think that they're ever going to stop? No, they're always going to be looking for the most palatable option. Now, he then went on and in quotes, this says, I think things have gotten so bad and everybody's getting more rational. At least that's my hope. So they're looking for a bipartisan plan to have the Republicans bend the knee. They are hoping that Republicans will just give up and compromise. Well, the thing is, there is not and there has never been a compromise. Every time they say, why won't the Republicans, why won't the gun nuts just compromise with us? Well, they've just taken, 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 taken small little things that you can't do. Taken away your rights little by little here and there, nicking away at it. When have we ever gotten anything in return? I'm not even going to entertain a compromise, even if it was a true compromise, but this is not, by definition, a compromise. Now, again, he has gone on time and time again to say that, oh, at the time of the Second Amendment was written, you couldn't buy a cannon. You absolutely could buy a cannon, and today you can still buy a cannon and have it shipped straight to your door. I think it's just hilarious that people think that cannons weren't able to be purchased when you can get an entire warship back then. You could purchase a warship as a private citizen. And then the big thing that he noted was it makes no sense to be able to purchase something that can fire up to 300 rounds. There's only one reason to buy a gun that can fire 100 rounds. Well, which is it? Which is the unreasonable one? Is it 100? 300? I'm not currently aware of any drum magazines other than maybe belt-fed firearms that have a magazine over 300 rounds. Now, is he talking about just disposability? Because we already know that... The Saturday Night Special disposable guns are evil and big, bad. We shouldn't be allowed to have those, right? Because California banned those because that was a bad thing. Having poor people able to buy guns cheaply couldn't have that. So I assume he's talking about high capacity magazines, or as many people in normal states refer to it as standard capacity magazines, seen as certain guns were designed to hold certain amount of bullets, standard, and then had to be modified to hold a reduced capacity. So, is this a good sign? Do you think they're going to be going after the handgun? I think it's going to be hard for them to go after handguns. I think assault weapon bans are going to be hard swing. They've tried to pass them before, and I think currently the Democrats, there's a few holdouts that probably wouldn't want to pass something like that. Republicans might bend the knee for universal background checks. Republicans might bend the knee for red flag laws that take away your rights to due process without any sort of actual court case that can be... Uh, you're innocent and, or you're guilty until proven innocent, basically. So I foresee red flag laws, potentially universal background checks, which are already a thing at every gun store. Every gun store does a background check when they sell a gun. I think those are the two big ones. I'm unlikely, I'm not expecting an assault weapon ban to pass, especially with how many of them are currently out in possession. But I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say. Let me know what you guys think. You guys know the drill. Have fun. Be safe. Stay dangerous. Peace.